Welcome back to Camp Watch Doctor. In this video, we're going to install the wheels and tires onto your robot. So these tires are made out of foam. And it might seem like that's not very strong, but it actually works really, really well for robot battles. I have robots with those same tires that have been abused and they're all cut up and they're still working perfectly. So these tires will probably last you a really long time. So you'll notice the hole in the center of those tires is actually pretty small. So the foam stretches a little bit and having it stretched out will help keep it on the hub. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we need for this step. You'll need your pliers, your wheel hubs with the clips, your foam tires, and you'll need your small hex key. Let's start with the first tire. You'll notice that the hub has a different shape than the hole in the tire. The hole in the tire is round, while the hub has these little peaks in the corner. When we stretch the tire over the hub, those little peaks are going to help the tire stay on the hub without spinning. This will really help when you're trying to push another robot so that the tires have plenty of pushing power. You also want to take a look at this little groove here. This is where the clip is going to fit into a little bit later. So for now, just know that that feature is there so that we'll make sure that we can see it after the tire is installed. All right, like I said before, since we're going to stretch the tire over the hub, it can be a little bit tricky to do. It helps to start with one of the corners of the hub instead of trying to push the whole hub through at the same time. So I'm going to start with just one corner and kind of stretch it on. And once it goes in a little bit like this, then you can kind of wiggle it down, push a little bit, and your tire is on. Now, remember I mentioned being able to see that groove on there. Right now, I haven't pushed it in far enough, so I can't see it. You can also see here, it's not up against that rear flange yet. So let's push it a little bit further. There we go. So now you can see this is nice and flush against that rear flange. And I can see that groove right there where I'm going to put the clip in. So this looks great. You're going to use your pliers to grab the clip. We're going to grab it by this little part right here. It should look like this if you have a good hold on it. Now we're going to put the clip and align it right with that flange there. And then you're just going to push it on. You can wiggle it a little bit to get it on. You'll see it slides right over that hub. Now, if you need to, you can go ahead and close it a little bit more just to make sure it's really engaged. And that's it. Your tire is installed onto your hub. So let's do the same thing for the other one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with one of the corners, kind of work my way around. And then once it's started, I just kind of wiggle it on, pushing down. Make sure that it's all the way down onto that flange. Just wiggle it a little bit, slide it on, and I'll just make sure it's closed there so it's as well engaged as possible. Now we have both tires on the hubs. Next, we're going to use our hex key to install these on the wheel. A hex key is a different kind of screwdriver. You saw that the tip of your Phillips head screwdriver drives the screw with those four edges right there. A hex key is similar, but it has six edges instead of four. This makes it a better option for really small screws like the one we're about to use now. You'll see that your hub has kind of a funny looking screw coming out of it. This is called a set screw. It's basically the same as a normal screw, but it doesn't have a screw head. That lets it sit flush in the part. There's two holes in your hub, but only one of them has a set screw. We only need one. So let's see how this works. I'm going to put the hex key in that screw. And you'll see now you can turn it. So if I look down the center of this part and I turn the screw a few times, you'll see that you can see the screw in the middle. That's because when we slide this hub over the shaft of the motor, this screw is going to tighten down on that motor shaft. Of course, if the screw is right in the way, I'm not going to be able to slide it over the motor shaft. So I'm going to back it out until I don't see it anymore. OK. Now that I have enough room in the middle to install it on the robot, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to slide this tire and hub over your motor shaft. If you look at the end of your motor shaft, you'll see that it has a D shape like this. You want to turn that shaft with your hand so that the D is facing up to make it easier to install. If you have trouble spinning it by hand, you can also use your pliers to turn it. Now that we align that flat on the motor shaft towards the top, we're going to make sure that the set screw on our wheel hub is also towards the top. That's because we want to tighten that set screw onto the flat side of the motor shaft so that it doesn't slip when you're pushing. We'll go ahead and slide it on. And now once I tighten the set screw back in, it's going to hold that tire in place. Let's take a look to see where we want to position our wheel. You don't want to put it too close to your frame because then when it spins, it's going to rub against your frame. And we don't want that. You also don't want to put it too far out 
because that's just going to put extra load on your motor and make your tires more vulnerable to attacks from other robots. So we're going to put it close to the frame, but make sure that it's not touching the frame. Then we'll go ahead and tighten that set screw and then give it a tug to make sure that it's nice and secure. If it slides when you give it a tug, just go ahead and tighten that set screw a little bit more. This is a small tool, so once it feels tight, don't keep forcing it to try to make it even tighter because you can bend the hex key or you could damage the set screw. It doesn't take a lot of force to get it to stay. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to turn the shaft so that the flat is facing up. I'm going to turn my hub so that the set screw is facing up. I'll slide it on, making sure it's not too close to the frame. And then I'll just go ahead and tighten this set screw. All right. So once those are on, now your tires are secured to your robot and you actually have a little uh, rolling platform, we'll call it. So it's not driving under its own power just yet, but uh, if you push it, you'll hear that it's actually uh, back driving both motors. So it's, it's looking like a robot. It looks pretty good, right? So we'll call it at this video. And if you're going to continue building, then tune into the next video to keep building with us.